Hi everybody, so my name is Asia, and I have been gardening kind of on and off for the last few years, just kind of like doing random stuff and kind of fumbling around in my garden. Um, and so I thought I would just kind of get a little more serious about it and try to record this little uh, videos about what I'm doing so I can look back each year and remember what worked and what didn't. Um, so since I'm kind of fumbling through this farming thing, it feels uh, appropriate to start with an experiment so I'm going to be starting with an experiment I've already put together kind of the first part and it wasn't going to be an experiment but now it is um, so what I did is I have these uh, trays right here and um, I put these little peat pots inside of it and these you just stick into the water in there like you stick into it and then you fill it up with water and it fills up and then you can break it open and then you plant the seeds in it okay kind of loosen up this the soil stuff in here and open it up so I have in here planted some red Reuben basil that's what it looks like some sweet basil some sage some Greek oregano some mint and then on this side I have chives cilantro dill and like mammoth dill parsley Italian parsley thyme and um, some delphinium flowers in there and this is kind of how they look um, this particular tray comes with a lid that has two led lights um, at the top of it so two little um, lights to kind of help them them grow a little bit so my experiment is going to be, do, be this is that um, instead of using this kind of uh, soil starter or sort of soil source thing I am going to be using this seed starter mix and then I got this just from like a regular box store kind of thing uh, what is it Jiffy it says it's uh, Omri listed natural and organic peat moss coconut core and vermiculite and then I also put in some worm castings in there too and I mixed that all together and I filled up these trays right here with this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant the exact same thing that I planted over there and uh, we're going to see how they do if it makes a difference to it at all all right so I'm going to go ahead and get to planting and I'm just going to do it in the same order I got this little handy dandy tool right here um, and I'm just going to kind of loosen up the soil a little bit and drop the seeds in and then cover it back up. So the first one over there is delphinium, so I'm going to go ahead and loosen this up a little. Open up my seeds. Okay. And these seeds are teeny, teeny, tiny. Well, not too teeny, tiny, but they are pretty small. So I'm going to try to put a couple in each little hole here. I'm trying to drop in just like two or three in each container. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to be doing. You're going to hear me say I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to be doing a lot. And I'm hoping to learn like what I'm supposed to be doing um, as I go along with the mistakes that I make. And hopefully with some comments from you guys too. Alright, so I'm just covering it up with the soil, patting it down a little. Okay, so that is the delphiniums planted. And I'm planning to put a little marker on the front here, just like a little sticker or something, to show where the front of the box is just so that I don't have to relabel all of these. I just know that if this is the front and this over here is, is the delphiniums, then the front left row over here is delphinium as well. All right, so I'm gonna put my delphinium seeds to the side so I don't get confused. I'm gonna go ahead and plant the rest of these and then I will come back and show you the finished work and the watering and the setup and everything. All right. All right, so I got all the herbs planted in here in the same exact order as the original tray. So they're all planted and put in here. Um, I did decide since I had one empty row in the other 
Then over here, um, I did decide to get started on some uh, green peppers because they need a little extra time to get started as well. So I'm going to do that, but then I'm also to make my experiment work. And this is actually only like accurate experiment because I'm starting both at the same time. Like I realize that there's another variable in here that those started first and these started afterwards. But the peppers I'm going to start at the same time. So I did want to show them. I'm going to take these. You're supposed to do this and put them in the tray and put the water in the bottom of the tray, but I don't want all the other um, uh, pods in there to get wet because they're already pretty damp and I don't want like um, what's it called like root rot to happen or whatever so I think I'm going to just stick these in this water here and kind of let them do their thing while I'm planting these other peppers and then that's cool because you get to see that happen too and you can kind of see them already swelling up a little bit that's kind of cool while those are happening, I'm going to put some holes in this row here, and I'm going to plant a couple pepper seeds. While that is going on, I'm going to do this. It sounds weird. Yep, it's kind of bubbling up a little. Maybe you're not supposed to put it in a whole bunch of water like that. Oops. Let's see. Alright, I'm just going to drop a... Um, two seeds into each little square. I did two separate holes. And if only one of them comes up, then that's cool. And if they both come up, I'm pretty sure I'd still be able to split them apart. So cover up those holes that they're in. Pat it down a little bit. And then I have these extra seeds I'm going to put back in here until I get the other one. Alright, so. I'm supposed to leave these for 10 to 15 minutes to kind of get oh, that water do its look. thing. So, you might hear a voice in the background. That is my uh, videographer. My nine-year-old daughter, Anissa. Hi! So she is a pretty good helper and she comes around and helps me out in the garden a lot. Um, so you can see that these are getting there. We're going to let them wait for 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll be right back. Alright, so here we are. It, they've been soaking in the water for a little bit. The directions say to peel off the top. And I gotta admit, this is not the easiest part because, like, the area where they join together is hard to peel off. So, this is kind of how they end up looking. I'm just gonna stick them in there and then I kind of spread the dirt out and loosen it up a little bit. Here is the second one. It's kind of perforated, so you can... It does get started easily, but then, like I said, where the seam overlaps here, it can be a little bit tricky. So I don't even think I'm going to fight with that. I'm just going to tuck it down on the side there and push it on in and spread the dirt out. That's the second one. So these end up working good. I mean, they are relatively easy to get set up. These other ones I had to um, make some space outside for. Like I had to go outside and mix this dirt up in a big old bucket and everything these ones are just let them soak and you don't even have to soak them in a pot like this I'm just doing this because I didn't start them the same time as the others the others I just these um, come out of the tray these trays come out like this and then you can just put water down in underneath of it and then when you put the water down underneath it soaks up through and that's how it gets them wet mm -hmm. it's off my hand dry these off a little. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and plant the green peppers in here and do the same thing. Just make two little holes and go ahead and bust the seed in each. The pepper seeds are nice after um, looking at the herb seeds because some of those herb seeds are so teeny tiny it's crazy 
like the oregano. Yeah, the oregano is minuscule. <laughs> All right, so the pepper seeds are there, and I think I got like three in that one, but that's okay. Um, this other channel that I watch, the guy there says if you get more than you want, you can just always just trim off. He doesn't recommend pulling them up because he says you mess up the roots of the other plants in there. And he goes in, he takes his scissors and just chips down the extra ones, which can be a little bit heartbreaking, but then you know if you don't, then nobody survives. <coughs> okay, so peppers are planted. I'm going to put the labels on them. I'm going to put the um, lids on them with the lights um, and I leave the lights on usually I think there's a 16 hour setting so lights are on for 16 hours and then off for um, the rest of the time. <laughs> We are going to eight hours. I wanted to say eight hours, but I kept saying like four hours and I'm like, that's not right. Four hours isn't right. Okay, eight hours. So the lights are on for 16 hours and they're off for eight hours. Um, and then I think when they get a little bit bigger, I'll change the timer setting on it or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I told you I'm fumbling through this, right? Fumbling farmer over here. Um, so we will see how they do uh what are your predictions which do you think will do better the ones that are done in that little those little peat bag thingies or the ones that have um the seed starter soil with the worm casting adding to it um what do you think go ahead and put that in the comments let me know if you think there's anything i could be doing better that you think i should try let me know um and if you have not subscribed yet Go ahead and click that subscribe button and give me some likes um, and I will keep you updated. Um, I will keep you updated on my progress as we go along through this. Thank you so much for sticking with me through all the video. Happy gardening y'all.